This is lesson six on fractional parts. Let's first talk about what a fraction is. Remember that a fraction is really just a glorified division problem. Um, when we talk about a fraction, we will talk about the numerator, which is also like our dividend when we were talking about division problems. And the numerator is just, is just the number of parts described. So in this case, this is our numerator. This is the part we're describing. And in this case, this is the numerator, and this is the part we're describing, okay? The denominator, on the other hand, describes the number of parts in the whole. So in our first example, there are four parts, four equal parts here in the whole. And this one's divided into six equal parts. So this would be a six, and this would be a six. I'm sorry. No, that's not right. Sorry about that. This would be a four, and this would be a six. But in both cases, we're describing one of those parts. So this is one fourth, and this is one sixth. Okay, we can also do this with more than just one whole. Again, what we're talking about is a division problem. So the dividend would go on top, that's our numerator, and the divisor would go on bottom, and then of course we get the quotient as our answer. So if we had six uh, is, the whole, is sort of the whole number, okay? So in this case, six is our dividend. And we're looking at how many equal parts. We're gonna say there are two equal parts. We want two equal parts. So we have two equal parts of six. And so the answer is three. So one half of six, in other words, is three. But remember that in a fact family, we can swap these two factors so in this case, now we have six, and we're dividing it into three equal parts. One, two, three parts, and that gives us two pieces in each part. All right, let's move on to the practice problems. A says, use both words and digits to wipe, write the fraction that is shaded. Okay, so remember that our, the top part of our fraction, the numerator, is the number of pieces that are shaded. So that is three. In this case, the number of pieces that are shaded is two. And then in C, the number of pieces that are shaded is three as well. Okay, so that gives us half of our fraction. And then the denominator is total number of pieces, equal pieces. This is four, this is five, and this is eight equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it says also to describe it in words, okay? Now in words, we always start with the numerator and we just say the number of the numerator. So this would be three, two, and three again. And then the second part of the fraction is describing the denominator or the number of pieces there are. So it's three fourths. This has been divided into fourths. This has been divided into fifths. And this has been divided into eighths. Okay, interesting spelling on that. But now we're gonna move on to the second half of the practice problems. We wanna find one half of 72. So remember, 72, actually in all of these problems, uh, this is our dividend. This is the numerator of our fraction. So that would be 72 divided by 
2. So 2 is the divisor, and that equals 36. So if I divided 72 into two equal parts, each part would have 36. Okay. Now remember, in a fact family, I can switch these two factors. So um, 72 36th, 36th is actually equal to 2. So that's an interesting little factoid for you. All right, in this one, our dividend, our numerator is 1,000. In this one, it's 180. And in this one, it's $3.60. Okay? So if I were to take 1,000 and I would, were to cut that 1,000 in half, one half of 1,000 would be 500. If I were to take 180 and I were to cut that into three equal parts, then one third, I would get one third of 80, which is 60. And finally, if I were to take $3.60 and I were to divide that into three equal parts, one third of that would be one dollar and twenty cents. Okay, um, I hope that this has clarified things for you on fractions. If not, please make sure and um, give me your questions, send me emails, or whatever. Thank you, God bless, and have a good day.